I came to Fintana in year seven and I was welcomed from the minute I arrived. Everyone at Fintana is so encouraging and so warm. It's just such a wonderful environment to be in. The grounds at Fintana are just beautiful. There are expansive gardens, beautiful buildings. It's just a stunning place to be. I love Fintana because of how small the classes are. The teachers can spend so much one-on-one -on -one time with you and can really focus on your academic pursuits and your well-being as a student and almost as a friend. They will not let any student get left behind. If you don't understand something, you can meet with your teacher one-on-one -on -one and really work through the problem. We do work hard, but we always have a good time and we always make sure that there's lots of laughs and lots of fun. It just feels like a little family. <laughs> I'm in my 25th year of teaching and I really understand that the people who work here are passionate about what they do. I still teach in the classroom, I currently have a Year 7 Mathematics class and I think it's important to, to understand what's going on with young people today, how they're learning and the changes in technology that can enhance your teaching and learning. The house system works really well. Each house, it's about the same size as one year level, so everyone's really close, everyone's good friends with everyone else. It's also a really great way to interact with the younger girls and support them as they move up through the school. There are six different houses and there are many different events all through the year that you can participate in, from sports to music to drama to debating. I play netball with school and I also play in an inter-school sport with other girls' schools. And the sports change every term. I started Fintana in 2011, which was the end of year nine. And I think I was really surprised at how welcoming and friendly all the teachers and students were. I was most interested in the running program at Fintana, both cross country and athletics. I also joined a squad outside of school, which Finton was really happy and encouraged me to do. I was lucky enough to have a breakthrough year and ran a Commonwealth Games qualifier for the 800 and also got a discretionary selection for the 1500 for the Commonwealth Games. I was so excited. I managed to make the final for the 1500 and place fifth with a PB. It was honestly an amazing experience. I'm now a coach at Fintanet. I love interacting with the girls, they're very enthusiastic. There are some really talented girls here, maybe even more talented than I was when I first started training. My interest in the outdoors uh, has connected me to the students and taking them beyond their comfort zones. I think the world has so much to offer us and we can learn so much from seeing other people and other cultures. I'm really keen to have our girls explore the world, to be curious about the world. You know, getting to know those around them, exploring the unknown, uh, taking the path less travelled and being away from their families, I think. Uh, they get to know a lot more about themselves. In terms of the community, Fintner is very involved. We do a lot of fundraising, a lot of community service. There's always a new fundraising event where they raise a lot of money for very, very needing causes. Everybody has the opportunity to look out for everyone else. The year levels are so, so close. I am friends with everyone in my year level because we all just spend so much time together. Some of my most treasured memories from Fintana include being in the school play, in house drama and being on camp. The school play and house drama are a wonderful way to interact with the younger year levels. All are such wonderful experiences that I will never forget. A Fintana girl is an all-rounder and she's not afraid to explore new ideas and new experiences. Age quod agus, or do what you do well, is such a powerful motto. It really embodies the whole ethos of the school and how each girl can pursue whatever career or whatever subjects they want to and the school will support them no matter what. I'm not sure what I want to do when I leave school. There's just so much that interests me and it's very, very exciting at the moment to really explore all of my options and find the one that's perfect for me.